Hello, I'm Peter Rondos, and today we're going to be teaching you how to build an electric motor. This can be done using objects commonly found in your house. The following tools and materials are everything you need to make a successful motor. You need wire, two paper clips, 1D battery, two magnets, one box cutter, one block of wood, one sharpie or pen, a thumbtack, and some pliers. So to start off, you're going to want to make coils out of your wire. This is how the motor works. by sending a current through the coils that are an electric charge in a circular motion and having a perpendicular magnetic force causes it to spin, resulting in the rotation of the motor. To secure the coils and make them tight, we're going to take the excess wire at each end of the loop and wrap it around the coil. Doing this pinches the coils of wire together and makes sure that they will not come apart when the motor is rotating at very high speeds. For this next part, you're going to take your blade and shave off the entire red coating from one end of the coil so the copper is completely exposed underneath. Next, you're going to shave off half the coating on the other end. This is where the physics comes in. When the copper on the other end is only half exposed, the circuit is being opened and closed very quickly as the motor spins. If the circuit was closed the whole time, the motor would not turn. It would just be magnetically attracted to the magnet and pull toward it. That's why it's so important to only shave off half the insulation. Once your wire is shaved, you then want to set up your paper clips in the foundation. So you want to bend your paper clips in a way so they're sticking up and have two little like loops in them so you can stick the wire through and have it secured. The design we made for bending the paper clips is not necessarily how you have to do it. You c they can be bent in any way that supports the motor and makes a connection to both the battery and the motor. Now, Take your pin and push it into the wood to make two holes that are about the width of the D battery. They have to be the width of the D battery because the metal of the paper clips has to touch each end of the battery. If it doesn't touch, the circuit is not going to connect and your motor is not going to work. Finally, place your coil in the paper clip holders you've made and place the magnets onto the battery under the coil. Your motor will work best the closer the magnets are to the coil. You may need to give the coil a spin to start it up, but once it gets going, it should stay spinning until you disconnect the circuit.